Hey, what's going on guys? Um, it is Thursday and I have received my Astros. Uh, got them about five hours ago. Um, the only thing I was a little uh, worried about was uh, where uh, UPS left. I've generally never had problems with the UPS, but they left it uh, in the front of my garage and um, I have a service door and storms were, you know, we just had some storms last night and we just had uh, we were having storms coming in about three or four hours, which I wasn't aware of, but you figure all shipping companies are going to be aware of the storms and the weather, you know, especially if, like, say it's a snowstorm, they're not going to do deliveries, so there's going to be uh, usually some delays or some pretty severe delays, you know, not in danger of their workers or the uh, the crap that they're shipping. So he just left it out in front of the service door. And, you know, he didn't even put it by the front front door, like the front door, you know, like where your, uh, like your porch would be or whatever. Uh, you know, like where there's sun protection. So it got pretty drenched, the box did, but um, I called someone coming ahead before I got home and they brought it inside. So it doesn't seem like there's much much going on. I mean, I, you know, looks pretty fine. So I actually haven't opened it up. I was actually going to save it <clears throat> for right now. So let us. This thing's pretty uh, dull. Put it down for a second. Well, I was gonna say I'm pretty positive these are my Astros because this stuff is getting sent via UP, uh, USPS. So, yeah, there it is. There's my invoice. Yeah, I'll just turn on my light. Someone jacked my. Um, my lamp though sitting right here, so I don't know. So there it is. I'm just gonna all be in one box this time, considering that uh, the mix amp is built in. Yeah, set it down one more time. You know, I always like people who do unboxing videos, so it's like the camera set up perfectly, you know, it's like almost kind of white room, you know, where there's like, you know, it's like all like professionals, and I don't know how they do that, you know, me and my iPhone, a flashlight-ish thing, or the, you know, the lens, or the, uh, the flash, there's a flashlight, you know, cheap looking, but, yeah, sometimes I wonder if I'm paying for the box art and everything. I'm pretty positive that not many people have these other than the people that pre-ordered them and maybe um, partners who got them early or I don't know who would be to get them early, maybe the people who signed them. But off the bat, I know that the microphone is now built in and you cannot switch it. Like you can't switch sides. Uh, the uh, speaker tags are not removable, not replaceable. Maybe they're going to change that. Um, the batteries are not removable. I mean, they're rechargeable up to 10 to 12 hours and should last two to three years total lifespan. That's what they claim. And there's supposed to be some service plan that you can send it in for, I would think, between 30 and 50 bucks. And they'll replace stuff like the, the ear pads, the battery. Uh, I'm not sure what else, which kind of comforted me. I'm like, okay, that, that sounds fine. So if it lives up to what they claim, I have no problem with that. I don't plan to use it for more than probably three hours, you know, if I were going to game, but 12 hours. No, and then I could probably buy like a kind of like what like a plug and play uh, charge kit, like you know for like your you know your Xbox controller. So, all right. I figure you know some people are you know because a lot of people commented like on their Facebook. Uh, you know, like if I hadn't bought my A40s or something like that, you know, I would totally buy these. Um, and the fact that they're. A little bit more expensive, you know. They're they're you know the very expensive headphones, and I kind of don't want to damage the box at all because it's you know a nice box. You know, if I were to ever resell it or anything like that. Um, where can I kind of poke at it? I'm aware I found my battery is dying. That's nice. There we go. go. 
It's a little obscure what I'm doing. I realize I'm just trying to peel the crap off here. The plastic. Plastica. Alright, let's get it out of its shell here. Turn my light back on. Alright. make these boxes interesting. Oh, oh, I think I know how it works. Aha ha! Now that is cool. I like that. It's like a sleeve. Oh, it is original. It's kind of like, er, no, it's, it's a flip top. Let's get rid of my, get rid of my knife here. Very nice. Very, very nice. No wires, no cables, nothing. Nice. Unless they do have a... Oh, hold up. Maybe I am wrong on that. Hmm. Now, see... I was confused. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Embedded battery and display. Hmm. You know, I thought that um, the mic was built in. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is removable. I don't know. I'm confused by that now. Huh. Yeah, they're on, and they don't really they don't really have speaker tags now. So that that's so that's. Maybe I'll have to clarify that after I post it because I'm confused. But so we have this, and they're nice looking. I mean, there's your wireless. Mic. Oh, crushing the thing! That thing's really flimsy. I know some people who like to keep that stuff on there, and I get really annoyed. Like new laptops, I keep their little plastic crap on there. I want to just rip it off. Their screen and the, you know, just, bleh. just take it off, you know. <laughs> It's not really protecting anything. I mean, and I guess another difference is that the A40 wireless had, I'm pretty sure they had this, and then your typical mix amp, and then your, you know, your headphones, and it was just like, there was, it was much more complicated, you know? I don't know why they couldn't have done this in the, in the past. Well, not ah, simple. So, looks like we have volume wheel. USB, look like a mic cable port there. Voice, the game, that's your mix amp. Power. So, and I think what I was showing before, I had to cut out a bit for a second. I think those are EQ presets like equalizer stuff and they're going to be releasing something in the future for getting tweaking fine tweaking your crap and I, I kind of wanted that you know because I like to mess around with the settings and things like that uh-huh what's all this oh this is this the stand I guess what I'll do is I'll configure the stand and kind of get that stuff set up. It's kind of hard to record it. All right, so basically we got here, yeah. So here's the stand all and done, mix amp. Um, I realized that the uh, the mic is just simply built in. It's not retractable. That's what I thought. It's like the A30s. Um, so two USB cables, one connect to the. Uh, to charge the uh, headphones, and then uh, the other one to connect to the to the wireless mix amp. Uh, my cable for gay Xbox users like me. I kind of I kind of would like wireless like the PlayStation, but uh, be nice. 
and then they actually give you uh, an optical link cable, so that's nice. Uh, opti I just call it optical link, an uh, optical cable. Um, there is no, uh, nothing in the back for uh, RCA or like white and red, it's just this. So at least you don't have to buy one. Um, other than that, um, I've been, I haven't seen some reviews about uh, a bad mic, and considering it's not removable, you don't have to send the whole thing in. So hopefully my mic isn't bad, although we've all have to be sending it in. And otherwise this looks pretty solid, pretty wire-free. So I mean, hopefully this uh, boxing video, I'm not, I don't do many of them, but hopefully I did it right, or I did a good job of it. So hopefully enjoy, and uh, uh, thanks for watching.